This video demonstrates how to create a GitHub account. Go to github.com and click on sign up. Then wait for the prompt to, to uh, enter your uh, email ID. For your email, it's a good idea to actually uh, put your Seneca email. Uh, if you already have a GitHub account and uh, it's created with another email, you can always go to the uh, contact information in your profile and add the Seneca email to it. Uh, so you click click on continue and that is going to check to see what it is then enter a proper password for it and click on continue and for username uh, either use your uh, email or if you want you can create uh, uh, a username for yourself so I'm just gonna write over here see if it accepts it and there you go, it's available. I'm going to click on continue. And product updates, if you want yes or no, because this is a um, demo account, I'm going to click on uh, no for N for no and click on continue. And it's going to make sure that uh, uh, I'm not, I'm a human being, not a robot. So I'm going to start a puzzle. And it's going to tell me uh, which got, which one is a spare galaxy. So I'm going to go through it. And again. And there you go. I'm a human being and I'm going to create the account. So now the account is created on GitHub and I can start uh, uh, creating private repositories for myself and uh, uh, do whatever I want. So it says we're going to send a launch code. Uh, to fsolima.ca, go to your account at Seneca and see what is your launch code. My launch code over here is uh, whatever it is. I'm going to get that and I'm going to enter it over there. Now that the launch code is actually, uh, now that the launch code is actually uh, added, it's going to actually ask me what I am and what I'm doing. So in here, I'm going to say um, uh, it's just me that is having this account and I'm a student. So it's going to say I'm a student and I'm going to click on continue. And there we go. I'm going to have a student account. So it's going to give me many different uh, uh, features that you can use, do whatever you want to do. So select, go through these things and see what are what, what you're interested in and put that one over there. I'm going to click on community and I don't know, uh, client applications or whatever, and then click on continue. So that's kind of a uh, a survey that they are asking and it's going to tell us that what I can do and uh, what can I use with my account because I'm a student uh, it gives me enough to do whatever I want to, to do at Seneca College so um, but with uh, the guidelines that I'm going to give you throughout the semester and your professors are going to give you throughout the semester you're not going to exceed uh, the free that you have over here so you can have any uh, private repositories that you want so I'm going to continue for free and voila well, our uh, github account is created and we are ready to uh, do our schoolwork more instructional videos to come